Test containers can help you to test your applications using real dependencies such as SQL databases, NoSQL databases, message brokers, etc. instead of using mocks or in-memory variations of those services. Test containers is available for most of the popular languages like Java, Go, .NET, Node.js, Python, etc. In this video, we are going to build a simple Go application using Postgres database and test it with test containers. We are going to create a simple Go application where we are going to create a customer repository with two features to create a new customer and to get a customer by an email ID. And we are going to store the data in PostgreSQL database and we are going to use PGX driver for interacting with the Postgres database. And finally, we are going to test the application using test containers and we are going to use the testify suit feature for spinning up the Postgres database and tearing it down using test containers. We are going to set up our project using these commands. First, we are going to create a new directory called tc go demo cd into it and then initialize the go module using go mod init command and then we are going to install the go modules pgx for interacting with the postgres database test containers go postgres module for spinning up a postgres instance and then testify for running our uh, tests as a suit i have executed those commands and then created the project and opened in my ide and I have created a file called type start go and then created a struct called customer with the properties id name and email and then I have created a repo.go file and then define a customer repository which contains a property with a pgx connection and then we have a, a helper function new repository which takes a database connection string and then establish the database connection and then initialize the customer repository struct. And then we have defined two receiver methods on customer repository to create a customer and then to get a customer by email. And we are using pgx library to insert the data into database and then query the database to fetch a customer by email. As discussed, uh, we are going to use testify suit feature for running our tests. So let us see how we can define a test suit. So here is the documentation. So we need to create a struct extending suit and then we can define what are the variables we want. And then we can use uh, method receiver functions like uh, setup test, uh, setup suit, tear down test, tear down suit to initialize our test data and then uh, clean up the test data after tests are executed. And then we can define our actual tests as a uh, method receiver on the uh, struct and then finally we need to create a normal test function and pass our suit to the uh, suit.run uh, function. So let us do this. I have created repo test and then I have defined a customer repo test suit and extending this suit and I have defined setup suit, setup test, tear down test, tear down suit. Uh, as a um, method receivers on the customer repo test suit. So basically, if you are coming from other languages, it is similar to before all, before each, before after each, and after uh, all. So these are kind of uh, uh, things that you can leverage to set up uh, for one time setup and then for each test and then clear down for after each test execution and then uh, clean up after entire test suit is uh, executed and then we have defined two actual tests uh, test create customer test get customer by email and then finally we are creating a test function to run the entire test suit now let us run our tests in the verbose mode and then see the output so here we can see setup suit is executed only once at the beginning of the test suit and then tear down suit is executed at the end of the test suit only once and then for each test it is executing setup test tear down test setup test and tear down test so we can write the logic that is required for our uh, tests like in the setup suit, we can spin up a database instance. In our case, we need Postgres database. And then in our teardown suit, we can destroy the Postgres container. So let us do that. 
Here, I have created a containers.go file inside test helpers package and then I have created a Postgres container struct by extending test containers Postgres container struct and also added a field called connection string. And then I have created a function called create Postgres container in which I am using test containers go API to start a Postgres container. First, I have specified the image to be used to create the container as Postgres 15.3 Alpine. And then I have specified the init script so that I can create the database and tables using this init db.sql file which is there inside test data package. And then I have specified the database name, username and password. And finally, I have configured the wait strategy to check for this particular message in the container logs. Okay. So finally, once the container is started, we can use connection string function to obtain the database connection string. This is one of the advantage of using out of the box supported modules. They provide convenience functions like this so that it will be easier to consume the information from the container. And finally, I have written this uh, response containing Postgres uh, container and connection string as well. So now we have a reusable function to create a Postgres container. We can go to our report start go and inside this setup suit function, we can create a Postgres container and then inside a tear down suit function, we can terminate the container. And as of now, we don't have any logic to uh, put it inside a setup test or tear down test. We can remove these two functions here. I have updated the logic in our repo test. First, the customer repo test suite is updated to contain the fields of type Postgres container, customer repository and context. And in our setup suite function, we are initializing the context and then creating a new Postgres container and then we are taking the connection string from the container and initializing customer repository here. And in our tear down suit function, we are terminating the Postgres container so that after all the tests in this suit are executed, it will be automatically destroyed. And here are our actual test functions, test create customer in which we are trying to create a new customer by passing a customer struct here and then asserting there is no error in the return value and customer ID is not nil. And then the second test function, test get customer by email, we are trying to get a customer with the G email as john at gmail.com. In our init db sql, we have inserted a new record into the customer's table with name as john, email as john at gmail.com. So in our test, we are trying to fetch the customer with the same john at gmail.com email and then asserting there is no error and customer is not nil and we are comparing the name and email values to the expected values. So this is how we can run multiple tests as a suit using testify suit package. Now let us run the tests and then see the results. Here we can see the Postgres database container is started and then test create customer, test get customer by email tests are executed and they are passed. To learn more about test containers for Go, head towards testcontainers.com and then go to test containers for go documentation. Here you can see what are the features available and what are the modules that are available out of the box. And also you can go to guides and you can see any test containers for go getting started guide and you can follow along.